Welcome to Tunacheki's Africa True Story. Western media has a knack for painting Africa in the worst ways possible. Drought and conflict have left 16 million people in urgent need. Crops have failed and animals have died in their thousands. Women and girls are bearing the brunt of this is by focusing on negative, sad and exploitative news when reporting about our great continent. This has been an issue that Africans have not taken kindly, especially at this time that social media has given users a platform to air their opinions. The misrepresentation is never by mistake or ignorance, but by design. The likes of BBC, CNN and Fox News do this as part of their mission organized by their governments as a propaganda tool to put down and destroy the African brand. Images of Africa in Western media has traditionally been malnourished children, abject poverty, violence, terrorism, and disease. This deeply psychologically and emotionally troubling painting of a continent that has a lot more success than they care to report creates a stereotype that becomes hard to undo over time. In the wake of recurrent terrorist attacks across the world, it is interesting to note the difference in reporting styles. The countless cases witnessed in the West have been reported with precision and attention to detail with perpetrators singled out and profiled. The cases reported in Africa have been generalized, leaving most people with no understanding of specifics, even just the basic nations in Africa. As if negative media publicity is not enough, organizations and people in places of power and influence have continuously spoken ill of the continent by insinuating stereotypes and generalizations that only serve to add salt to injury. Tourists from the West visiting Africa are met with a rude shock when they see a thriving people living in civilization just like the rest of the world. U.S. President Donald Trump's remarks on African countries as shithole countries was a very clear example of the perception of Africa out there thanks to the biased media reports. News coverage meets a host of issues associated with Africa's problems, not least their causes. Precious little is said, for example, of the massive amounts of money lost through tax evasion and other forms of illicit financial flows leaving Africa via tax havens all too often at the hands of foreign corporations. Similarly, news media rarely talks about unfair trade and trade rules and pressures that sustain it or how rich and powerful countries benefiting from this state of affairs work to maintain it. Some of Africa's ruthless and corrupt leaders have been propped up and others installed by Western governments. This is never given adequate coverage by the Western media as they choose to report on how greedy and corrupt Africans are. When CNN ran a report that described Kenya as a terror hotbed during the run-up to a presidential election, public outrage led a trending hashtag online, someone tell CNN, that mocked their choice of reporting. The hashtag was also used to mock their reporting on the Pope's visit in Uganda that centered the entire visit on homosexuals in Uganda. Fox News caused quite a stir when it reported on the land expropriation issue in South Africa, calling it racist. Of course, they picked an angle that excluded the reality on the ground, the fact that the 8% white population in South Africa owns over 80% of the land. The feature prompted Donald Trump to tweet out a response saying his administration was looking into the matter. Africans were not amused. In 2003, Britain's Prince Philip, during a visit to Nigeria, greeted the then-president Olesegunu Basenjo, who was wearing traditional robes by saying the president looked like he was ready for bed. His remarks were a clear indication of a lack of knowledge on the Nigerian and the larger African culture, something the Western media blatantly ignores in their reporting. Foreign aid agencies with their white savior industrial complex focusing on the negative as part of their fundraising efforts play up narratives that Africa's helpless victims can only be saved by the West. Students as young as those in high school visit Africa over their holidays and pose with children in the slums like one would with animals in the zoo, exploiting their innocence and curiosity. None of this is to say that Africa does not have its issues, but the picture of Africa that emerges in Western media is often vastly different from the reality. And there are very good reasons for concealing the reality since the maintenance of the existing domestic and international power structures of white supremacy are at stake. Do you have any African story that needs to be heard? Let us know in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to get the latest African lists, entertainment, pop culture and news.